Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the channel, we're back with episode 2 of Violet Evergarden bro In the last episode, we get to meet Violet for the first time We get to know a little bit about her background, which she was in the army for a very, at a very very young age bro I know she is known as a tool that don't um, do anything other than people commanding her uh, so we get to see like the person who she admired but she don't understand that feeling yet you know which is ma uh, Major Gilbert I believe that name. yes Major Gilbert but I feel like he ended up dying because we get to meet like Colonel Hogan's that when Violet ask him about like Major Gilbert he don't answer it's like he tends to know when he, when it comes to that type of topic also she says she lost something that um which we saw in starting of the um, episode is that she lost a brooch, an emerald brooch that um, Gilbert had given her. Now we get to learn later on that Gilbert had actually loved her and he wanted her to like live freely and he actually told her like he really do love her um, and no, no, in the one, in the any of the episodes that somebody came up to her and called her doll but then I'm more like, why did he call her dog? But then I realized why he did call her dog. It's a different department that I'm hoping to in our business where he do like um, letters and deliver mail and all this type of stuff. Also they write like letters for people who are unable to write to like their loved ones or somebody close to them or maybe a friend, you know. So they have a service called the service for auto memoir doll service that they as I said they do like writing for people who are unable to like write like letters. So like a type they type writing letters. So she wants to join this department so she can learn what I love you means. So I feel like when she go there she'll be learning like all type of different stuff. So we'll get to see what's going to happen in the next episode, bro. I'm really excited. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's straight into this episode, bro. Let's go. Four years ago. Oh, that's your brother. Hold on, dog, dog. What the heck? What? What the heck? Why did he? Why did he be glad that his father died? So he's gonna... He's who? Mercy, bro. What up, man? Turn the guy over mercy. Calling this girl an bro. What they wrap her in, you know, like a bed or something? It's almost like she telling it from her perspective of like how she see violet and Why is she so annoyed, bro? Iris. But why you have to be so mean, bro? bro? So we have Iris. Just you. 
see the roof now. There we go. Why did she say that though? Google Aringa Attitude Group. As well, every time she take all gloves, like one glove, she always take all gloves. Oh, oh, Yo, that is crazy that she kind of just, well, she kind of just the fingers. Oh, that is cool though. Was that even possible? I don't know my question. Bro, I'm not taking that serious, right? For them. No, this one's kind of like <laughs> loud for you forever. What the heck, bro? <laughs> the dog was rejected her. Rejected again, bro. <laughs> we were happy. So I want to know what is um what's up with like Erica though? Like I know for some does she like the inferior to like the others or something? Well, she's straightforward. Yeah. 
I mean, I know people in this one, so. Wait, she calls anything a weapon and just... I got a lie, it's a call. Also, they go like... So they can work. Oh, that's what that's for, like a, a portable like... Type of, uh, what does it say, portable like? A typewriter that you can carry to do like jobs at others' home. That's kind of cool. If they're going coming to your office, you can request them. But does it pay more if they request it? So she take one home so she can practice. I wonder if that would be able to like help express like a feeling, you know? For Dude, I ain't gonna lie, this girl just blunt, bro. <laughs> but did like a child for a second time. Yo, what the heck, bro? <laughs> Yo, that is crazy. Dude, that is crazy. Why you have to do something like that? Dude, I don't know how much on a regular they go through like that abuse, especially her. She's that shy, timid type of character, you know. Cast on a puzzle. Dude, that's wrong move. I think like um Erica would be like support and all because I feel like Erica and Fire are relating some type of way, you know? <laughs> Who's she helping now for her? So she stand up with like such like authority, you know. Not that easy. 
I feel like she liked the guy showing on her face, but she don't want to admit it. Fuck. Violet, bro. This is gonna be one of the most blunt messages or letters you ever get from. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, she did something. Man. I'm going to survive. I don't know, like when she come in, it kind of sound like that's what she's trying to imply. Oh. So I don't mean violent for writing like that. But why would you go through doing that though? Let's say the letter go on to be perfect. Yeah? Wouldn't it be like you're playing with the person in some type of way, dog? I know people express their things like in different ways, but that... That way is kind of risky, to be honest. But why would... <laughs> no, Kata, we have to take all the responsibility of this, bro. So what the heck, bro? What is this man wearing? Is that like high heels this nigga wearing, bro? Yep. She's here, dog. What do you mean by thinking about it? Like you want to leave the job because you're gonna die, not getting paid? That you trying to say? Man, you guys are crazy, dog. Oh, what's the reason why you're not getting paid all this month? She just like show like how she feel about it, you know. That's why I feel like she and Violet can relate to each other because they feel like at least she'll be honest. Straight up.
can see like the determination in her face yeah? to me to know like what that means by mental image and what it would mean for her too you know You can see like Erica very heartbroken that I is talking about her behind her back. <laughs> it's almost like she feeling like it's her they talking about behind her back. I feel like that's how like Erica feeling right now. I feel like Erica is like speaking up for her, you know? I knew it. It's like she, that was the way she was watching the first time, right? She was watching through the, the door. That's a dream. I hope she can fulfill that dream of hers, you know? So if they might give her that thing, that's from the little thing. She looks beautiful. Ooh. Is it like the same one or the that's a different one? Is it the same one or a different one? I feel like it's a different one here. You can see like the love. Like how she treasure in that uh. Oh, that's why it's pay wet. Oh, that's why he say that I'm like, he was paying for that all the time. So how much was it though? But is it? Is it? Uh huh. Oh yes. It's confirmed this guy is dead. And Violet don't know that. It's like, he don't know how Violet might react by getting the news. 
and you can see like Colonel Hogan's like holding back well, and he not wanna be able to like tell her that. Well, Alright bro, this was a really nice episode, a really cool calm episode. We get to learn the names of the members of like the doll group. You no, know, the doll group which is Catalia, Iris and Erica. The thing is when Erica made that slight comment about when um Catalia said she and Erica were working there for a really long time and she said like it is it, not what you think. I think she said it's not like what you think. Because Erica is a person who was feeling like more like inferior to the other girl how much better they are in typing like letters than her and being more like connected with people's emotions, you know, and understanding them better. That's why they have like an advantage over her doing the letter and pain. The funniest part is when um Violet was learning with them with them writing the letters and she was being blunt to everybody. That was really fun, funny in some type of way. And really kind of crazy. You know, Violet don't understand a lot of things that are going on, you know, because she's trying to learn about like different things, you know, that she never learned before. I I don't <laughs> I don't think she'll be able to like cope with all that things. But the fact is I really like when she was um, standing up for Erica when this guy was bullying Erica bro like Erica is a, a, a timid person, a shy person, not that outspoken. She I feel like she can't express herself like other people. So she usually like take the harsh like comments towards her and wouldn't be able to like lash back. But with Violet there she I feel like she will learn something from Violet because I feel like these two will get closer, like compliment each other in some type of way, you know? Because Violet is not that good in writing but she accepted that she's not good in writing. But Erica on the other hand accepted that she's not good but feel like Violet is a little bit better in some type of way so she feel like a little inferior to Violet. That's why she went up to Violet and asked her like what's her reason for her joining this department, you know? And Actually, Violet uh, she joined there to to learn about what I love you most. And Erica was like, "Bro, like this? Why? Why would you want to learn that? That is just kind of a stupid reason." But then she explains, go in further detail, why the reason why she wants to learn why I love you means <laughs> because of um because of Gilbert, his last words to her. Now, bro, we, when we cut to the part where um, Colonel Hogan was explaining to Catalina that he wasn't getting money, you see Benedict in the back, bro, like, bro, what? This guy ain't getting money? You know what? I think about my position where I'm working right now because if this guy get, ain't getting money, that means my pay is going to cut short, or I might be business might go bankrupt, I won't be able to have a job. So I have to think about like different options, you know. With it, like, bro, like his misunderstanding about things. Um, <sighs> that is really crazy. But then we get to find out later on that the reason why he couldn't get his pay is because he put money on the brush that um, Violet had. I think it's a replacement of the one she previously had because I think the one she had was blue. That one is like green. This one is green. So, that is, is a really nice that, um, um, Hogan's did that for you know, um, but I I really like how um Violet looking, bro. That's really good. Well, I wanted to talk about this part where this woman came in and wanted um Violet to write the letter for her, and like the thing is, it's like the comments she was making. I understand why Violet like write it that way. The comments she was making, she was all like, oh, I'm I'm not really interested in him. But you can see on her face that she was interested. I'm not really interested in him. It's like she, she's a person who's more like interested in like how much money you make and what things you buy. So that's what Violet thought. And by saying that, I would have seen the same thing too. Now you can't be mad at somebody because they feel that like when you come out like that, come out making this type of comments and saying this type of stuff. So 
What would you think would happen? I sure she didn't tell Violet what she wanted in the letter, bro. So I feel Violet just go with what she think that the client wanted. And that's what it made of the mystic that please understand me happen. So you gotta be mad at Violet for that. You gotta be mad at yourself. And I feel when Katarina was telling about like people like words can mean have different meanings and she was saying that it's contrary, like that is she's not lying, but doing this type of things is to be honest, to be honest, you know? Doing this type of things to be honest to me is really risky. Because you're not sure like what the your significant other would be thinking when you do this type of thing, trying to test them to see if they really love you, you know? That's a show, I feel like that's a show like you don't have much trust in this person, you know? So, yeah. But now we really get like confirmation that Gilbert is actually dead when um, Hogan said that yeah. this guy is never coming back. You know? Get over that. Well, we're going to see, but I feel like the video of me not telling her is just really like, crazy. I feel maybe if you tell her she might do something rash because she said like the dog like Gilbert like ordering around she have nothing. I feel like she would be like lonely in some type of way. So I feel let it take time. I feel hope it's gonna make it take time, let her comfort us around people, better get used to people and how much people support her. After then tell her about it because it will be much more better, you know, in some type of way. Because you have like some people to comfort her and not make her do something else, you know. So we'll see what happens in this next episode. I really enjoyed this episode for sure. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this episode and doing this with me. Don't forget to run and like, leave a comment down below or your thoughts of this episode. Subscribe if you need that bell so you'll be notified when I upload a video. And also go ahead and check out the first episode. Oh, I'll put it every time I did. It's a one time for now.